Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power. This is True Power, man. Fruit, fruit, fruit. True Power. Oh, mm. 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 Love dates, man. Got a funny story about dates. I'm in Stop and Shop one day. This was a couple years ago. I spent pretty much my whole shopping life in the produce aisle. But anyway, I'm over, you know, with the fruits and stuff like that. And there's a cardboard box open with just loose dates, okay? And a tong to take out all the dates you want. And there was a cardboard sign with, um, um, the magic marker. It wasn't in a bag. It was just an open box. And the card said it says, cheap dates. So I'm standing there looking at it. And next to me is an elderly woman who's looking at it as well. And I said, excuse me, ma'am. Is this where you go to get cheap date? She looked at me for me. She slapped me. <laughs> she gave me a slap. <laughs> anyway. Gotta be careful what you say today. This is several years ago. But anyway, guys, not a sniffle. You know, in these days where we had to have these viruses all over the place running rampant, okay? And you know I can't say a certain or the channel gets shut down. And I will go out on a limb and say I have not been vaccinated. Haven't had a sniffle. My daughter and my wife did get vaxxed. My wife, if she's a teacher, if she wanted to work, she would have either had to get a, in Connecticut, private school, private Catholic school, she would have had to get a test every day that they did not provide on site or she would have to get vaxxed. My daughter could not go to law school live. She could have gone on, you know, Zoom and whatnot, could not go live unless she got vaxxed. So they both chose to get vaxxed. And I don't care. You know, that's up to them. I chose not to get vaxxed. The three of us, between the three of us, had not had a sniffle. We literally have not had to blow our nose in years, long before this certain virus. Okay? Guys, we eat, for the most part, the exact same... Um, diet. My daughter has to stray a little bit because schools, you know, yes, she has a kitchen on the floor of a dorm, but it's not great. She's very busy. She's on the road. She grabs stuff. So, but for the most part, my wife and I eat almost the exact same thing. My wife will start the day with uh, juice. Okay. She'll get a cup of defac decaf tea on the way to work. And drink in the car and all this sort of stuff. With her, she will take a thing, a uh, container of lemonade. She'll take another juice and she will take fruits and vegetables with her to eat all day long with the fruit and lemonade. She gets home around four o'clock. She'll have another juice. She'll get on a stationary bike for half an hour and do a little workout. And then she will eat an enormous salad of cooked foods, cooked veggies, all that sort of stuff. She might add some rice. She might add a little pasta. That's what she eats. I'll tell you, the, uh, the bike is nothing grueling. She'll go maybe four or five days a week on the bike. She does a wonderful job. She looks fantastic. And the kicker is, guys, she never gets sick. My daughter never gets sick. Starting in... Uh, High school, we started keeping track of it. But in high school, four straight years, she never missed one day of class. Four years of college, she didn't miss one class due to sickness. She was off uh, competing in the uh, Division I at Penn State, the Division I um, synchronized swimming team. She missed class because of that. She didn't miss one class because of sickness. 
and she is a year through, going on a year through law school, hasn't missed one class. And that is not like she's dragging herself to class sick and sniffling and caught. No, she is just plain not sick. So you do the math, that's nine straight years she was not sick at all. Now we didn't even keep track of it before that. But she literally at high school, at graduation, got an award for not only never missing a day, but not missing a class. She was never even late for class. And again, it's not like she, she's, you know, this driven that she has to get to class to keep the string, string going and all this so she doesn't want to break. No. She just has all the energy in the world. She's never sick. She's an excellent athlete, and she gets up and goes to, goes to class, goes to school. Guys, not a sniffle. And in this day and age, when everybody scared to get death to get sick, scared to death to go to work, scared to death to go to school, scared to death to get within six feet of each other, we do what we have to do. As I told you, my, my daughter and wife got jabbed. We wear a mask which is extremely unhealthy, by the way, and we'll do that for another video. And, you know, if people feel uncomfortable getting within six feet, we'll, we'll keep our distance. But we don't miss a thing. We go to church, we don't... And never get sick. It's not an axiom, guys. We have no toxins in us. That is where colds, flus, sniffles come from. Colds, flus, sniffles come from. That is where it comes. A toxic environment inside, you get rid of the toxicity, no sniffles. Now, my daughter and wife did not do a cleanse. As you know, I like doing a cleanse every now and then. They, they don't want to do a cleanse. They don't get sick. Now, are they buffed up like, you know, models with, no. They don't work out that much. My daughter runs. Uh, maybe a couple miles, five days a week. I told you what my wife does. Once again, we don't get sick. Not a sniffle. The world is yours, Chico, and everything in it. True power, man.